Hello everyone, my name is Zora Blotvi and I am from Iran. I am 14 years old and in these lectures I would like to share some videos about biology, mainly Campbell biology. Okay? Well, uh, some may ask that why Campbell biology book? Because there are hundreds of other books about biology in the internet. Okay? Uh, well, because this book is the most recommended book in the internet that I could find. So, uh, the question answered. So, without any further ado, let's start learning biology. As some of you would know, biology means the scientific study of life. Okay, now let's start. Unit 1. Evolution. The stems of biology and scientific inquiry. Okay, inquiring about life. Let me start with an example. Take for example this mouse over here. Okay, uh, it lives in the white sanded beaches of Florida. What a lucky mouse! But it's a mouse. I mean. Uh, uh, there are a few hiding places for a mouse among the sparse clumps of beach grass that dot the white sand dunes along the Florida seashore. However, these mice have a white dappled fur allowing them to blend into their surrounding. There is another kind of mouse that has a more darker color. Uh, over here, yes, over here. Uh, the surprising thing is that uh, these two mice, this one and this one, uh, are the same species, but the white one uh, has a more uh, whiter. Sorry, uh, the white one has a more whiter color because it uh, lives in the seashore parts of Florida, but as a darkish one lives in the inland parts of Florida. Okay? Where is this? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, so the color of this mouse over here must be darker because of the vegetation of the surrounding environment. Uh, these uh, leaf litters that you see behind or surrounding this mouse makes seeing this mouse a little bit hard. Okay. In conclusion, uh, the color of the surrounding environment and the color of the mouse's fur is vital for its survival to protect itself from hawks and other predatory birds. Okay? Some might ask that how did it happen that the colors of the beach mouse uh, became so different from the inland mice? Okay? The adaptation or change of an organism over time to its environment, such as mouse's protective camouflage, is called evolution. Okay? Uh, so the question to that answer is because of evolution. Evolution has resulted uh, in the astonishing array of organisms on Earth. and. It's the fundamental principle of biology and the core theme of this book. Okay, now uh, we know that uh, the biologists know a lot about life on Earth. Okay, uh, but many mysteries still remain. Uh, to fix that, we must use the central activities of biology that include. Uh, opposing questions about the living world and seeking answers through scientific inquiry. Now, biologists' uh, questions are very ambitious if uh, we want to use this, uh, this 
uh, uh, central inquiries of biology, <laughs> central activities of biology. Okay, uh, we first have to pose a question. Okay, not like the biologist questions that are really ambitious, like how does a single fertilized egg cell that we will talk about in the next lectures turn into a dog or a redwood tree or how does the human brain work and some other questions that are really hard to answer 